So I'm gonna be installing these two smart Wi-Fi controllers for my existing mini splits that I have in my workshop, which is where I am now, right there. And I have another one in my home office upstairs. I'm curious to see how this is gonna integrate into Apple HomeKit and what it's gonna provide me. So the main reasons why I'm installing these two units, one, I want to integrate these two units with my existing smart home controller. As you can see right here, um, it easily integrates with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri, and Samsung Smart Things. Two, I want to monitor the humidity in my workshop so that I can control the mini split to properly control the humidity in order to prevent my tools from rusting. I'm gonna install my Cello Breeze Plus in my garage workshop for my mini split right there. Now it states for me to have this within two to four meters, I believe, of my mini split in my garage, but I don't really have a place to put it over there and I don't wanna put it over there. I'd rather it be right here, which is by my front door or by my side door where I come in. I would rather it be in this area as opposed to over on that side. All right, I'm gonna use it on its stand here instead of mount it to the wall because I may decide to move it. I don't know. Got it like that. And then I'm going to take this, install this, and the wire actually feeds through the back. I have this here on magnets. It looks like it, it doesn't open, but it actually does. It comes down like this. I have a piano hinge and I don't have anything in here, just a bunch of wires, junk. Kind of like a uh, communications closet, if you will. Let's power it up. When I go to close it, it locks into place. All right, so if you guys want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install this unit, uh, you can fast forward towards the latter half of this video, or you can use the chapters um, in the video to uh, skip to the part that you're interested in. But here, since I installed the Cello Breeze Plus in my workshop to control humidity, I'm gonna go over that procedure here, but uh, the full install procedure is towards the end of the video. So I have actually three options to turn the unit on and off. I could uh, use the keypad here, the controller. I could use the app on my phone, or I could use a Siri shortcut. So that's the only way that this unit will interface with Apple HomeKit is through Siri shortcuts. So ideally in my workshop, I want the relative humidity to be in between 50% and 65%. And of course that is because of where I live. I'm in the deep South, it's very humid. Even in the colder months, it gets humid sometimes. So um, that's an ideal setting for me to keep the, the relative humidity at. And I also have a dehumidifier here that I run during the more humid months to sort of help the mini split control the humidity in my workshop and my home gym. So prior to getting this, I would use a dedicated smart home device to read my relative humidity in my workshop. Now I don't need that anymore. I could read the relative humidity right here and take action accordingly. So in order for me to take action when the humidity rises above a certain level, I go in the app at the bottom control panel, I click on eSaver and then comfy mode. Down at the bottom, you'll see comfy humidity. And here is where I set the thresholds. So on the higher end, I don't want the humidity to exceed 65%. So when it does exceed 65%, the mini split will turn on and I have it set to turn on in cool mode. I also set the minimum, which means that if the humidity is below 40%, then it will turn the mini split off. So the mini split does have a dry mode, which is meant to dehumidify a specific area, but I prefer to use the cool mode because I find that it dehumidifies the area a bit quicker. All right, so I am in my office here. 
and I have a mini split up there. For my home office, I'm going to install the Chillo Breeze Eco. All right, so the first step to installing the unit is to download the app from the App Store. And as soon as the app is downloaded, open it, create an account, or type in your username and password if you already have one. And when you get to the home screen, you're going to hit the plus sign in the top right and choose the model cello breeze that you have. So this is the Eco. I choose the Eco. Click Next. All right, so the next step is to actually disable your mobile data to prevent your phone from using uh, your mobile data connection instead of your Wi-Fi connection. So in the list of available SSIDs, I saw the Cello network. I joined that and then went back to the app to finish the configuration. So I allowed Cello to find and connect to uh, devices in my home network, and I selected my Wi-Fi network from the list of available networks. And this is how you essentially configure Cello for a Wi-Fi network or to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I entered my Wi-Fi password and proceeded to the next screen, which allowed me to choose the room in my home that the device will be placed in or create a custom room, uh, which I created a custom room and named it Office. Once I created my custom room, the device configuration only took a few seconds and um, I clicked Done. So the next step is to actually configure the remote control after the device syncs with the uh, Cello Cloud. So I uh, found my remote control, hit next. I pointed the remote control at the device and hit the power button. It turned the mini split off, so I knew that it was configured correctly. So after I configured the unit, I uh, clicked on it, played with the temperature and fan settings a bit, and um, clicked on the button at the bottom toolbar labeled schedule. So what I did was created my first schedule to turn the AC on on weekdays in the morning at a specific temperature. There are many different options to turn your AC on at a specific time. You can even use geofencing. So when your phone gets um, in a close radius of your mini split, it'll automatically turn on for you. I prefer the set schedule. So I set the schedule to repeat on weekdays and I named the schedule weekday on. I followed the exact same process to create a schedule to turn the mini split off at a given time, including the weekends, because oftentimes I just forget to turn it off. So this will um, always turn it off every day at a given time. All right, so now it's time to set up a Siri shortcut. So on the bottom, I clicked on eSaver and then on Siri shortcuts. I created a shortcut and I wanted to power the mini split on by way of a Siri voice command. So I clicked done once I verified the settings and it prompted me to change the voice phrase. So I changed it to a command that was more specific to my office mini split. Once I configured that, I clicked done. So when I clicked done, um, it actually didn't take the command or so I thought. So I went back to the previous screen, I verified my settings again, and then I went back to um, uh, the voice command continue to try to hit done. And then finally in the upper left hand corner, I hit edit and shortcuts. I verified it was there here. You can actually set conditions and a few more parameters, which I didn't need. So i all I wanted to do was verify that it was in fact there and it was. So the app sort of got hung up on this screen. So I had to force close it, reopen it and verify that my Siri shortcut was actually configured correctly and it was. And I also tested the Siri shortcut and it worked flawlessly. My overall impression of the Cello Breeze Plus and the Cello Breeze Eco. The Cello Breeze Plus is my preferred unit only because the LCD display offers me control options if I don't have my phone or if I don't have a smart controller that's near that can pick up my voice commands. So I do like the ability to turn it off and on, change the temperature, 
by way of the LCD display. The Cello Breeze Eco offers the same functionality as the Cello Breeze Plus, but it just doesn't have an LCD display. It does have one button on the front that allows you to turn the unit on or off. I just prefer the LCD display. It provides me with another option to control the unit. 